What's good, YouTube? DM Gaming here, guys. I hope everybody's having a great uh, Saturday. I know I am. I've been watching high school, Texas high school playoffs or state championship games all day, guys. And I'm going to continue to do that. It's a game on last game on now. Just wanted to drop some quick information uh, for y'all. But before I get into that, guys, I do want to tell y'all to check out Eniba. The link is in the description box below. Guys, they are a digital marketplace where you can find a ton of things gaming related as far as the games you can also get the xbox live playstation plus and it's actually on sale for about 38 bucks dragon ball z kakarot is sold out there but they do have dragon ball fighters and other games like that as well as dlc so check them out let's roll the ad All right, guys, before we get into what I wanted to show y'all today, I just want to say thank you so much for 5,000 subscribers. Um, and, and we're closing in very quickly on 1 million total views on the channel. I'm, I'm very grateful. And guys, I mean, y'all don't know. Some, some of y'all know, some of y'all don't. But just a short backdrop into how we got here. Um, I used to do Madden videos on YouTube, and I enjoyed it, but the community was eh, and EA didn't really support the game, and it made it tough to follow it, and I've always been a fan of Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, GT, Super, ever since I was little, I've watched Dragon Ball Z, started watching Dragon Ball Z when I was like in elementary school, and it's 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 always been a part of my life, the games and everything, and I, I mean, you can look at the channel, I've done videos that that are old about talking about Dragon Ball games and stuff like that. But, you know, then they announced Dragon Ball Z Kakarot in um, January 16th of 2000 of this year, actually. And I made it a point. I said, I'm going to do a video on this game every day. Now, I did fail at that. I didn't do a video every single day, but 280 videos. Yeah, we did pretty good. Um... And I made it a point to saturate YouTube with my content, but I didn't want to, I don't know, man. I, 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 I just wanted to talk about the game. My biggest fear was running out of things to talk about, but it, it hasn't happened. I mean, we, I may revisit certain things just because we get new information. So you have to revisit it to kind of update it and see where you go in the next step. But as far as not having anything at all to talk about, it's never happened. And I'm thankful for that. And I'm thankful for the support. The channel is really starting to take off right now. You know, before we started out getting about 50 views, a video, and then it turned into 100, 200, 300, you know, then five and 600, then a thousand. And now, I mean, you look back at the past 10, 15 videos and they're all over 2000 views, you know, and growing. And I'm just, I'm very, very thankful, but I'm not satisfied. I'm not satisfied at all. And I'm going to continue to work hard and try to deliver the best content that I can. When the game comes out, I am going to be live streaming it. Um, I'm, I'm probably going to live stream it maybe every time that I play the game. Um, and then I'm also going to do videos where, you know, I kind of show you how to do different things in the game and stuff like that. I don't know. I may set a live stream schedule. I may alternate them. I do live stream one day and then a video the next or something like that. I don't know. We'll see when the game comes out, but I do want to continue to put that content out there. All I want for Christmas is Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Fortunately, got to wait till after Christmas. It would be really dope to be able to get a review copy of the game. That way I could play it and put out a review by the time the game comes out because the game, I mean, that's what the channel is about. Like that would be a dream come true for me to be able to do that. And then it would also help as far as getting you guys the best information on how to uh, play different parts of the game and do like better walkthroughs and stuff like that and being honest guys it would help boost the channel because then you know you would have somebody that's been following the game put being able to go to me on day one and get a review of 
the game and stuff like that, that really helps the channel as well. So I'm, I'm excited about that. And like I said, thank you guys for 5,000. And I hope you're here when we hit that million subscriber mark. But today, um, I do want to show y'all uh, some of the requirements for the game. This is Steam. They haven't showed it on PlayStation or Xbox. I haven't seen it anyway. And if y'all hear the football game in the background, I apologize. But anyway, um, looking here, the minimum requirements, 64-bit uh, processor operating system, um, Windows 7, you know, 64-bit. Uh, the processor that you're going to need minimum is an Intel Core i5 2400 or an AMD Phenom. Um, I mean, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to even act like I, I know computer tech like that. Sound good, though. Core i5. I know the Core i5s and stuff, but that, I know the AMDs, but the, when it gets into the Phenom stuff, I, you know, lose me with the na extra names and stuff like that. Um, the memory is a four gigabyte RAM, which is very interesting. I figured it would need a minimum of more than four gigs of RAM, but I digress. Uh, graphics is a GeForce GTX 750 Ti or a Radeon HD 7950. And DirectX is version 11. Now, the storage, this is really this is really what I came to see. 36 gigabytes of available space. A long time ago, I made a video about how big, how many gigabytes the game would be would really determine how big of a game this is. The reason I say that is because, I mean, you're seeing it here. Let, let's go to the, the recommended. This is to get you the best quality possible. Well, not best quality possible, but, you know, to give you the best playthrough. 64-bit uh, processor and operating system, same thing, Windows 10, 64-bit processor, Core i5, 30, 3470, or AMD Raisin. That's a good processor. Memory, 8 gigabytes of RAM. So you have 8 gigabytes of RAM that's going to be really good for this game. GeForce uh, GTX 960 or Radeon R9 280X. Version 11, good point. 40 gigabytes of available space. That says a lot, man. I mean, I know games nowadays are, you know, almost standard at 50 gigabytes, but a lot of them aren't. The fact that this game is anywhere from, I'd say, 30 to 40 gigabytes of space needed for the game, that says a lot. That says that there is a lot of things in this game. And I know one of the biggest concerns for people has been, are they showing too much of the game, you know? And I would say no. Um, however, at the same time, seeing the open world playthrough of the game, there really isn't that much more to offer. I mean, we kind of have seen the majority of, well, a lot. I'm not going to say the majority. We, we've seen a lot of the game, and it could have be the majority. So you may ask yourself, DM, okay, if we've seen a lot of the game, if we've seen a lot of the cutscenes, what's left in the game? Well, the thing about it is we've seen these things, but we haven't seen how all these things come together. We haven't seen the sub quest. They haven't showed us the sub quest. Now, mind you, we've seen bits and pieces of like Gohan and 16 sub quests and stuff like that. We haven't seen um, everything that you can do in the free roam. And like I said, once you put all of these things together, then you're going to get a picture of the game that you're not going to get just by watching these cutscenes and the small snippets that they put out. I think another reason why they're, they're, they're showing as much of the game as they are is because... It's just not getting enough traction, and we already know why that is. I mean, I'm covering the game. We're going to continue to cover the game. But, man, it would really be nice if more big-time people would cover the game. Bandai's doing what they can, you know, to try to promote this game. But it bothers me. Like, God, bring me on board, man. Bring me on board, Bandai Namke. Show off this game, man. You need somebody on your set showing this game off that knows about this game, that's been following this game, that has energy and a passion for this game. And I'm not going to pull no punches, guys. If it's something about this game that's not cool, I'm going to bring it up. Like, for instance, um, we talked about the, uh, the Trunks gameplay. And I'm going to try to pull that up real quick while I'm sitting here because uh, somebody pulled it up, brought it to my attention, and I'm going to be honest, guys, I didn't even notice it. I didn't even notice it. Uh, let's pull it up here. Dragon Ball Z Kakuroto. I didn't notice. Trunks in Free Roam doesn't have his sword. That is not that good. Okay, and the channel that I'm using here for the footage is uh, PS360 HD. Uh, check him out, guys. Y'all can tell I am subscribed to his channel, so... 
Uh, yeah. So, I mean, in the cutscenes, Trunks has his sword. Okay, and the guy told me in the comments that if I push the arrow, where, where are those arrows? Right here. That I can skip frame by frame. And... Okay, that is dope, dude. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. He told me to use the arrows to skip frame by frame. I really appreciate that. He said he was calling me out, but he wasn't calling me out. He said, I hope I'm not calling you out. I was like, no, nah, dude. So when you see Trunks fighting, he has his sword. But if you go to the free room, where's the sword? Oh, my gosh, guys. And I didn't even notice that till somebody pointed it out to me, mostly because I kind of skimmed through. I mean, I watched this several times, but it didn't even dawn on me that, dude, he doesn't have his sword. So y'all that pointed that out, good job. Because where the heck is his sword? And is it still stuck in King Cold? Uh, but whenever you go to the gameplay, he still doesn't have his sword. <laughs> he doesn't have his sword. Let's go back to the Freezer gameplay. Did he have his sword there? Yeah, he's got his sword there. And see, guys, this is what I was telling y'all about with the cutscenes. How the cutscenes, whatever they're wearing in the cutscene, that's what they're wearing in the gameplay. Um, that is very interesting, dude. He does not even have his sword. See, he has it there. Where does it go when he's done with it? Oh, it disappears on his back. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah. That's not good. I mean, just for authenticity purposes, I really could give a crap if his sword is on his back or not. But come on, man. And then, guys, you got to understand, all of this stuff is a, not, I'm going to say, an early build. But, I mean, it's simple for them to just go in there and put his sword on his back. I, I don't know. That is trippy, though. Good job picking that out, y'all, because, I mean, he pulls a sword out of out of magic, out of nowhere. So, anyway, good job bringing that up because, um, I, like I said, I didn't even notice that. That is dope that y'all, <laughs> it's kind of bad, too. But, anyway, as far as the requirements go for the game, guys, um, this is what you're looking at. A 40, looking at 30 to 40 gigabyte download or or storage space needed for that and that's very good for a game like this it's different from a game like assassin's creed or grand theft auto um well not really even grand theft auto because they well the graphics are a little bit different i mean they use that shell shading technology on this but with animated games kind of like this it doesn't you don't have as much shading as you would have in say like an assassin's creed game that has like a 50 gigabyte download or like a red dead redemption type game that has like a 50 or 100 gigabyte download 100 gigs yeah so there's going to be a ton of stuff to do in this game, and I can't wait to see that, guys. But let me know what y'all think down in the comment section down below. What system are y'all going to be buying it on? Let me know that as well. Once again, thank y'all for uh, the 5,000 subscribers, and I look to grow more with y'all. Till next time, thanks for watching. Peace.